What's up, my peeps? How y'all doing? So, did y'all hear your girl went to Vegas? Yes, she did. Me and my girl Mama Cita rolled out. We had a road trip and we had so much fun. We're going to Vegas. Yeah. I did play some poker and guess what? I'll tell y'all about it next week. <laughs> but for this week, we're gonna do part three of the flashback. You guys saw part one went out in 16th place. Part two went out in 15th place. And I had to just give it one more go because you know, third time is usually a charm, right? So I am actually really excited to get back into some live poker. I'm excited to share what happens in Vegas with all of you guys. So I'll know you'll be here next week. But for this week, check it out. Chickity, 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 chickity. Ah! Third time's a charm. Round three, fight. Getting so close each time. It's so funny to me how much poker has so many metaphors to life and getting so close to the things that you want and not getting them when you want them. But you know how to say it comes right on time. Builds strength and it builds character and it builds a great experience. It's the journey, right? So I'm embracing the journey, loving the journey. I'ma love it even more when I, when I hit that number one. It's <laughs> the first break. Oh. What is that, a duck? It's the first break, the one that always comes too quickly. I originally bought in for just the 160. So I have my 5,000 in chips and ah! in the and uh, that didn't really go so well. So I got down to like a couple thousand and just did the add on for an additional hundred. I got 8,000 chips. So right now I'm at about 13,000 from that 8,000. So just uh, I started off, I think a little, a little wily. I was kind of paying for some information. I had some hands where I just wasn't sure. People were giving out some tells, but it was hard to tell which way the tells were going. So I paid for it, but hopefully it's some information that I can use later on. What in the? I hope he's okay, because seriously, hopefully it's some information that I can use to my advantage later on. I think um, also because I was playing a little loose, uh, it did get me a good pot. I, I had six, seven of clubs. There's three players in, and, and uh, the blinds are 75, 150. I'm middle position, and uh, <laughs> and I get a raise uh, to 350. So I call, the flop is five, eight, nine. Flop straight, rainbow. So not scared of the flush. Goes check through on the flop. Damn it. Uh, the turn is a king of diamonds. So now there's two diamonds out there. Uh, check to the button who bets 1100. And uh, I tank for like a minute, give a little acting and flat. Other two callers fold. And then the, the river is a four, offsuit four. So no flush comes through. And uh, I lead out with 2475 because I must have had 9475 led out with that. And um, he insta calls and he kind of, I could see that he probably had that king under there, maybe king of hearts. And he's a guy that I went up against before and lost a hand to. And I missed my draw. So he probably thinks that I'm full of shit, so that was pretty nice. So yeah, sitting on about 13 right now, a little over that. Get back in here in a second. <laughs> Everybody likes to photo about my videos, which I find it kind of funny, so. Wish me luck, you guys. I, I did a meditation last night. One of my really great friends gave me some, seriously. <laughs> One of my friends gave me some really good insights about some good meditation tips. And so I took about an hour last night and meditated and visualized myself at the final table. I was kind of wearing an outfit like this in my visualization. Got my all black everything popping. Boots, A. And um, turns out that's what I ended up wearing today. I could recycle it <laughs> if me. I'm feeling positive. I was kind of mad at myself earlier, but um, I did get some good information. Get in here and get some tea. It's still early for me, but it's tea time. Time for tea, tea for two, and tea for you. I'm only one person, but I still drink the tea and dish the tea and drink the tea. <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen. All my visualization and it still didn't happen. And now I'm here at the restaurant. I've actually never eaten here. Table's ready, I figured I'd get a bite and contemplate if I wanna buy into the four o'clock. I made a really stupid decision in the hijack. I had about 18,000 in the hijack and I got king jack off. It's like two limpers, the blinds are um, one, two, and I make it 
seven cutoff calls and then the dealer makes it um, 22. She had done some work early on setting her table image. I mean, she was raising with like jack four off, king three, just doing some crazy shit. But that's that's the whole point, right? I had a conversation yesterday about paying those dues to set up your table image so that way you can capitalize when you really have a monster. So <laughs> foreshadowing definitely just happened. I flat and the cutoff flats and the flop is king blank blank, you know? I just check and she makes it 5,000. I got, you know, 16,000, whatever left. She's got maybe 11,000. And I'm thinking, if I flat this 5,000, I don't really know where I am. Like, does she have ace king? Or does she have king six? Or does she have nothing? Pockets, low cards, something. I should have not even been in this hand, really. Where are my little poker fairies? Anyways, I raise her all in. She snap calls. She's got aces. And I lose most of my stack. And I know this was a terrible play. Like, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to comment about how stupid that was because I already know. I already know. I am beating myself up more than you could ever. I'm learning from it and all that, but I'm going to try out this restaurant. Give me some salad. Uh, the 4 p.m. starts in like 20 minutes, so I'll see how I feel after I eat this salad. Think about it. I, I don't plan on coming back another day. I got plans. We have double date tomorrow. Saturday would be the only last day, right? So kind of feel like today's the day or it ain't. So we'll see. That looks good with the salmon and they have really good blackened salmon. So let's see. So I uh, bought into the four o'clock. Surprise! And um, I just did the add on straight away. Everybody at the table did the add on. So I did it. I had some movement up and some movement down. Started with what, 13? So now I'm at um, 21 or something like that. It's the last break before the rebuy period ends. So I got this guy to my left. He's a nice guy, but uh, I've seen him play before. And every time I raise, he just re-raises me and, or three bets me, if that's what you want to say. So it's making it a little challenging for me to mix it up a little. Although he plays a lot of different hands but he's also got twice my stack probably because of what he's doing so last hand there I had ace queen and lines are two four and I made it 12. Guy to my left nemesis makes it 42. I flat the 42 and the flop is ace king seven and I probably got about 10,000 left at this time so I just go all in and he's like what and he ends up folding and he tells me he had pocket eights and he also tells me he had pocket eights the last time I raised so apparently pocket eights is just like raise it up I got pocket eights I'm going all in I got the butt yeah, so now it's like the real deal poker time. Let's see how it goes. I really, I gotta get to day two, you guys. This is my goal. First time I was 16th place, right? And I needed to be in the top 11. And the second time I was 15th place and I needed to be in the top 10. And that's not happening today. We are making it to the final table, which means that we are making it to day two. I mean, I know I got my money back and that's really nice and all, but I didn't come here for that. And so it's time to just play my game, play it right. I need some luck in there, poker gods. It's necessary too. I'll keep you guys posted. Are you as tired as I am of these videos with these blue lights behind me? I mean, they're pretty, but you know what that means, right? Taking my ass home, waiting for my car. Team Queen. I got about 20 big blinds, so I probably didn't have to do this, but all in jacks. I river straight when he rivered a boat. So it was kind of just like the other day, I didn't want to die a slow death. I died a slow death the other day and I didn't want to die a slow death. Made a few moves. They didn't work out for me. They happened. Worst things have happened, right? I'm alive. I'm breathing. I'm going home. My hubby's going to hug me and make me feel better. I'm going to kick my feet up. I'm going to drink some tequila. It's Thursday fun day. Fortunately, you know, these buy-ins are pretty small, so it's not breaking nobody's bank. Still positive, right? Cha -cha. And I live to try again another day. I don't know what other series are coming up. I'm definitely not buying into the day twos. 3,500, I think. Not gonna do that. Not yet, I'm not there yet. Thank you guys though for all your positive insights and feedback and uplifting comments. It means the world to me. And I'll let you know, I think next week I'm gonna do a, a cash game at this private place. So see how that goes. Kisses. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram at P's and Q's Poker. See you next time.